Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. We are at March Favorites, my friends, and this one is a little bit makeup heavy, I'm not gonna lie. I do have a few non-beauty related items which I will cover first, but if you're in the market for some makeup and wanna see what my favorites have been this month, brace yourselves, we got quite a few of it. The first uh, couple things that I'm gonna go over with you guys are my non-beauty related items, and the first favorite of mine for the month of March has been this book called Wild. This is by Cheryl Stray. Strayed? Strayed. Uh, and it is a fantastic book. This was a uh, novel that was turned into a movie featuring Reese, Reese Witherspoon and oh my gosh I hadn't really heard much about the film and by happenstance just grabbed this book while I was at the bookstore and it is so captivating. It's a true story about a woman that loses her mom and her life sort of spirals out of control and she decides that the way to regain herself uh, is to hike the Pacific Crest Trail and it just leaves her life in turmoil and just shows you know how challenging this trail is and what she ends up thinking and how she ends up processing her life as a result when she's hiking this trail but it's so amazing and uh, I, I don't know something about being free and just you know dumping your life and just you know taking a chance on this backpacking trip and having her gone through lost her mother because I also lost my mom to cancer about seven years ago uh, I don't know it just it really grabbed my attention and this book has been one that I haven't been able to put down I've only had it for I don't know maybe two weeks or so and I'm about halfway through the book and I keep recommending it to absolutely everybody I run into because it's so freaking good. The next thing that is a fashion related item it was a little uh, clutch actually that I picked up um, recently. It's something I ordered online and I can't remember the retailer so I will link it down below for you guys because I will search for that but it's this adorable little clutch. I mean how freaking cute is this? I love that it's this beautiful mint or deeper mint color and it's got these jeweled pieces on the top of the clutch. I think it's so beautiful. It's so feminine. I love that this would be great for spring and this is easily something that you can transition with from day to evening so I love that with a simple t-shirt and a pair of jeans you know you could use this to sort of jazz up your outfit or of course you could you know go into a cocktail attire and use this as well so I've ordered this I've been staring at it because I've had it on one of my casings up here just as almost a like not a jewelry piece but like a decor uh, decorating piece just because it's so beautiful um, but now that springs arrived at least here in the Toronto area uh, you know, I'm getting into the warmer weather clothing. I'm trying to bring out some of the brighter colors out of my wardrobe and will be uh, using this as a result. And just speaking of fashion, because I'm sure most of you either, well, hopefully you know from my past videos, but I am a image consultant and fashion expert. So if you guys are looking for any fashion and style advice and want me to bring some of my work life into these videos to help you with body types, how to dress, how to mix and match, things like that, let me know. I'll be happy to do that for you. So I told you the non-beauty related items were short and sweet, so we're going to get into the makeup now. So there are a lot of makeup related things that I'm loving this month. A lot of it is MAC, I'm not going to lie, um, but there are some drugstore and Sephora items in here as well, so brace yourself. Uh, the first one that I have really, really been loving is this Becca, what is this, Becca Beach Tint and it's a water resistant color for your cheeks and lips and this is in the color lychee which is sort of a hot pink color and I love this so much I really love using this for creating no makeup makeup looks for both myself and my clients it's so easily wearable it's got a really great pigment you just put a little bit on your cheeks just for that beautiful flush color and of course you can do the same thing with your lips as well and it just gives you that very natural flawless glow so I love this because it's got um, you know dual uses which is great better bang for your buck and it's just so easy to swipe on and dash out the door because I think most of us ladies are pretty busy during the day and we're looking for quick fixes for our makeup so this is an awesome option the next item that I have been using a lot actually is this L'Oreal True Match Lumi and I know you guys have seen in past videos that I'm always talking about L'Oreal True Match I always always go on about how much I love their product but had not recently tried their Lumi brand of the true match and I'm not sure why I think maybe just because I have all the true match for my clients so I know what the brand is about I know I know what the line is and how great it matches your skin coloring um, but this one I wanted to just give a try see if there was anything different <clears throat> oh excuse me I'm sick and my voice sort of sounds a little raspy still the only difference with the Lumi that I find is that 
it is a little bit more luminous in terms of the finish uh, compared to the regular L'Oreal True Match. And I find that L'Oreal True Match, for those with dry skin like myself, I'm normal to dry, that the L'Oreal True Match can dry a little bit dry on your skin. Lumi brand is wonderfully moisturizing. It gives a very natural dewy finish. And as I said, the, the finish of the makeup itself doesn't have your skin cake or dry even in the slightest. So it's a, just a very soft finishing difference between the two brands. So if you're looking for one because you have dry skin, maybe found that the regular L'Oreal True Match dried a little bit bizarre on your skin, definitely try the Lumi end of it. It's phenomenal. So I have been using this consistently over the past month just because it's so incredible and uh, gives the perfect finish for my makeup. The other drugstore item that I wanted to talk to you guys about is the Annabelle Biggie Bronzer. I just love that name, Biggie Bronzer. I don't know why, I just think it's the most amazing name. I love this. It's got this beautiful sort of tiger stripe in here. This is a matte finish, although they do have the exact same bronzer and the exact same coloring in a iridescent finish as well, if you like something more dewy for your bronzer. But I like a matte finish. I think it's a little bit more flattering and love this bronzer. So bronzers, let's be real, they don't really vary all that much between them. What I like about this one is A, it's a drugstore option, so it's readily uh, available and affordable for most people. And what I like about this one is that most bronzers I find when you dip your brush into it, you get a ton of payoff on your brush, almost to the point where you need to be careful because a lot of women go overboard on their bronzer and it just ends up looking shades of crazy on your face. And what I liked about this one is that the payoff is still beautiful, but it doesn't give that immediate overdose of makeup on your brush. So you are safe to you know, swirl your brush around, apply it to your temples or along your face, and get that beautiful subtle glow without over applying the product and making it look like you just had a horrible spray tan. So I love this. I think it's an incredibly flattering bronzer. I cannot say enough good things about it. And again, a drugstore item. Um, now Annabelle and Marcel products, I believe are only available in Canada for my US and worldwide friends, unless you order it online. So if you're not in Canada and can't find it in your drugstore, check them out online. You can order them that way. They are so amazing. Now for another product that you swipe all over your face is uh, this MAC Mineralized Blush. This is in Just a Wisp. Holy smokes, look how pretty this is. Oh my gosh. I freaking love this. I really wanted an iridescent blush. I had picked one up recently um, from a NYX that I actually showed you guys a couple videos ago that I've been loving. And I just am obsessed with the sort of dewy look that blushes can come in. I just found that they're so incredibly flattering and I love the slight highlight that they give along your cheekbone. It gives that beautiful soft dewy finish without needing a an additional highlight there or making it look too dewy so you've got a bunch of sparkle on your face. It's the perfect finish for it and what I like about the MAC Mineralized products is you can also wet it with a brush and use it as eyeshadow as well so it's got some dual purposes in there which I really appreciate but this is just the perfect color. I mean honestly like oh like that color is gorgeous and it's just beautiful and soft so if you're looking for a very natural day-to-day -day glow this is a wonderful option I am wearing it today which I like I did mix it with one other color um, but I'm just so loving it and even my husband who is the most inept makeup person and just doesn't notice makeup at all commented on the first time that I wore this and just said how beautiful my makeup looked that day and he said he really liked my cheek color bless his heart now two other MAC products that I've been loving are their paint pots. So I was someone that only had the Painterly paint pot and I had the Soft Ochre paint pot as well, which are just two very neutral shades. They're easy to put other eyeshadow colors over. And I wanted to sort of experiment outside of that because MAC has a lot of them and I find that they have a really good variety in terms of what they offer and what you can use them for. So I picked up two other paint pots. The first one is Let's Skate by MAC and this is a very very soft pink with a slight gold iridescent color to it. It is so gorgeous. So I have been creating a lot of different looks with pink eyeshadows and peach eyeshadows and creamy eyeshadows or cream colored eyeshadows I should say that go to go along with this and it just gives this beautiful soft sparkle to my eye makeup and I did it on another client with a deep complexion and she just looks so beautiful so I have really really been loving this product I think it's absolutely stunning and the other one that I tried by MAC 
which borders on neutral but um, I still love the color is chilled on ice by Mac which is this one here so again it's very neutral base it's a cream color with a lot of gold in it and I love this great for warmer skin tones I love putting gold on my lids and I love using metallics on my clients lids and this is a wonderful base if you're looking for you know a slight sheen on your lid and want to either leave it at that or if you want to build and continue adding metallics with other eyeshadows as well this is absolutely stunning and because it's a very soft gold it's not over the top and will easily blend with any color you want to put it with like anything whether you want to go the pastel route or something more you know moody and neutral like a black or brown oh my gosh this stuff is amazing and for those of you that haven't tried max paint pops paint pots before like honestly it keeps your eyeshadow on all day it is not going to move my friends so it's a really great eyeshadow base slash primer as well definitely try them now the last two products of my monthly favorites are actually two nail polishes one is this opi color this is Petal Faster Susie, and this is a beautiful petal pink. It's a very pastel pink, but this has tons of shimmer. I don't know if I'm just loving the shimmer recently and just want all the glam, you know, in all of my, you know, beauty products recently, but I'm loving the slight hint of glitter and everything. So this is very similar to the nail polish color that I'm wearing now, as you can see. And this one just has a very iridescent sheen to it. It's very gorgeous. It's not a heavy glitter nail polish because I don't like nail polishes that have heavy glitter because they take forever to get off but it's very simple very subtle which is what I like about it and uh, yeah it's perfect for spring and then the other one which was a release from Essie actually last year is their French Affair nail polish which is what I'm wearing right now and this one is very pastel sort of reminds me of a macaroon color that you would find in Paris or France and it is so beautiful it's a soft pink with a slight purple like kind of lavender tint to it so it's a harder color to describe it's definitely not a true pink it definitely has a slight lavender tinge to it but it's so subtle and that's kind of what I like about it I haven't really seen a, a nail polish that has a both purple and pink pastel shading to it I just thought it was so perfect for spring and I put it on my nails immediately and it hasn't chipped at all which is what I love about Essie nail polish and this is just going to be a favorite of mine as we you know roll into the spring season I can just tell it already but uh, for those of you that are looking for them I do believe this is one of their staples now because this was something I just picked up a couple weeks ago and um, have just been loving it so if it was released last year and it's still in store now I would say that it's probably a regular staple of theirs now but definitely have a look I picked it up in Shoppers Drug Mart for my Canadian friends um, but I'm sure you guys can find it in CVS or Walgreens somewhere else uh, in your neighborhood um, yeah, it's absolutely stunning. So that is it for my favorite guys, short and sweet, or maybe not that short and sweet, but anyway, I went through them nonetheless. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed my favorites, and I will chat to all of you beautiful people next week. See you later.